Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, being here, you know, we went, just went through this Mercury retrograde and it, man, it just uh, took us to another different level. So, you know, thanks so much for the supporters. I'm sending you the same. It's, you know, we just keep on, as long as reciprocated, we all good. Put it that way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now that needs validation and confirmation towards the things they're going through, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you are giving me. You know, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, you know. Thank you. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to Instant Aura Cleansing, Seven Chakra Healing, Sleep sleep Positive Energy Meditation, Clear Chakra Blockages. Man, I needed this because it was like right towards the last video, I started feeling this heaviness on my chest. I didn't know if it was from my, my girl that was going through some stuff or it was just like I, I had some heaviness on my chest. It's probably because the stuff I was talking about was starting to irritate me. But, you know... I felt like I needed this, so it feels good. But I will be posting that link in the description box below, um, in case you need to, you know, clear your shock, clean your chakra. Because with all this Mercury retrograde that was going on, you probably need it. Because we all discombobulated in some kind of way or other. Um, but today my video is about uh, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's remember there's beauty in your pain. Y'all was listening to my girl, Alyssa Clara. I love her. And, you know, I was listening to the song and just brought tears to my eyes because it was just like I felt so much of everybody. You know, I'm going through a little bit of my stuff, too, but I'm healing and I'm so glad I'm healing from it, you know, because it comes a time where you just get tired of dealing with stuff and, you know, you go through things for so long, you know, and it can really beat you up. And it was like, I heard that song and it just brought so much tears, you know, brought so much emotion towards me and tears in my eyes. Like, you know, wow, I'm, I'm, you know, there is beauty in the pain that you, you have, you have endured. Um, it has, to me, my opinion, we've gone through so many heartache, hurtful things in your life. And it's just like, it's sad, you know, um, when we, when we go through things, it's just like, the average person, if you're not an empath, or especially a Hayoku, because I feel like if you're an empath, any kind of empath is going through things, because we, we tend to attach things are around us, plus we're dealing with our own stuff as well, but with Hayokas, we always do stuff ass backwards anyway, and we take the hard road analyzing things, and trying to figure out everything about why is it sideways, why is it this way, why is it that way, just got to get everything from the nick and cranny, but if an average person, if we was to tell our story to an average person, they'll be looking at us like, how the heck did you make it? <laughs> how did, were you able to do that? But you just don't realize, it's just like, now I see why they call Hayokas the most strongest empath known to man. Um, because we take on so much stuff. And you don't realize how the pain that you have endured is is captured you in a beautiful aspect of life i really feel that way you know because we have went through neglect we have went through abuse uh we have been through shame um people probably discarded us like trash just because of how we are we're different you know a lot of people fear what they don't understand you know it's just like some people like when 
when it comes to certain things that, you know, they pray for. You know, I have friends that, you know, their family members or close friends just pass by. And, you know, some of them are grateful for the fact that I can give them the message endure. But then there, I've actually had some that, you know, passed away a few, you know, like probably last year and I'm getting in touch with them. They just shun me away. You know, like they don't want to hear it, you know, and they're just like, oh, I pray that they, you know, they come and talk to me and this and this and that. And then there's things that I can be able to tell them. There's no way of me knowing you know and then it's just like they get freaked out about it you know like oh Rosalind took me aback you know I can't deal with that and it's just like you know even though they're like Rosalind can you please tell my my family member this and I'm like they won't talk to me you know you don't freak them out already so you know that that becomes the the painful part of it because people start looking at you in a freakish way um the abilities that we have um I've scared a lot of people. It's just like I can be able to suck energy out of a room and next thing you know, I'm levitating up against the wall that I never thought I'd be able to do, but I have. Um, it, it, it's just like all these different things that we have endured in life that, you know, you, you can say you've been through it, you conquered it, and you have moved on and healed um, from things that was sent to kill you, just break you in all kind of ways for you not to be able to be put back together especially when we have a war of good and evil going on in the world you know there's a lot of us can't even look at the news read the newspapers you know I, I can't do it you know if I end up seeing something you know it's basically if I'm watching it on YouTube I only got one one day I watch all my reality shows on Monday if it ain't love and hip-hop or you know the what, what, what kind of what is it um, the mob cartel or something like that that was coming on from Miami. I love that show. That's pretty much all I watch, you know. Um, other than that, I don't watch anything else. But it's just like, you know, I don't watch TV. It's just too much. You know, I can deal with reality, reality TV because, you know, it's scripted. Some of the stuff is scripted and some of the stuff is, you know, real life, but it doesn't have the intensity of the things that are going on in life, like the shootings in New Zealand. That was really hard to hear because it's like you can't go to you can't go to mass, you can't go to a movie theater, you can't go to casino, you can't, you know, and it just makes you feel like, God, dog, am I supposed to be staying in a box somewhere? Because <laughs> it seems like you always got to look, you know, it's like scary when you can't even allow your kids to go to school. Because you got to be worried about is somebody going to shoot up my, my child's school today. You know, it's just like so many madness, much madness in the world. But it's just for us being empaths and being able to heal from the things that were sent to, you know, really break us down. Because, I mean, I feel like good is going to conquer everything. Love is going to conquer everything. With us being awakened, us going through so many trials and tribulations and being able to look at it any bigger picture like you yes these things has happened to you yes this has happened to you but it's for you to go through this experience and be able to tell a story of how you were able to conquer something so horrendous so traumatic that it would have shook the world loose if they would have had experienced it themselves so it's just like the things that has really broke you down in so many ways you don't understand how you, you know, how you were able to make it at times and when you find yourself healed, you know, and being able to be grateful for those experiences really makes you a beautiful person. I really feel like people are beautiful anyway. They just have their ugly sides. They have their dark sides. It just depends on what you choose to carry around with you all the time. But remember, you know, um, you're beautiful just the way you are. You know, it's just like we, we grow from our pain. We strength from our pain. We have knowledge from that you know I look at my situation all the time and even though I lost a big part of my life you know towards things that I really don't understand is probably have a bigger picture later on in life when I'm fully healed from that I can be able to get that knowledge for it but I'm very grateful for the things that I've, I've had to go through because if I didn't I wouldn't know I was a hail I wouldn't know I was a twin flame or indigo or a white witch or a medium I wouldn't know none of these things about myself I wouldn't have been able to meet y'all beautiful people you know there's so many things because it's just like at times I wish that you know I could have been able to connect with my dad before he died maybe I could have been able to save him or whatever but then it would just like he wouldn't have been able to make an impact on the world the way he did when he you know passed or I wouldn't have been able to find myself through the midst of all my pain and making all these videos so being able to do these things has really brought me a lot of blessings this has really brought me brought me a lot of knowledge and strength and wisdom 
So it's just like count your blessings. You know, I know it's sad to go through the things you've gone through, but your pain is your strength. Your pain is a beautiful thing that you can see. You know, when you can be able to heal when all the dust settles, it's really made you a beautiful person and really made you stick out like a sore thumb because you were able to say, I won. You know, I didn't allow this to beat me. I didn't become product of my situation. Um, I'm not going to carry this around with me. You know, I'm, I'm going to use my pain to good use. You know, there's so many people I see that have you know, lost children and, you know, have, you know, they had to go through that pain and that's always a hurtful thing to lose a child, you know, Justice for Junior. Um, I forgot the girl Kenya or something like that, I forgot her, how to pronounce her name, um, that lost her daughter at a hotel. Um, all these different things have happened, but, you know, is brought awareness towards things, is had people come together doing a hard time like that it really is that it, it takes something like that for us to come together you know it shouldn't have to take a child losing their life for us to be able to come together but you know it's just certain things have to be able to smack the you know smack the mouth <laughs> mess out of our 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 world just for us to be able to come together in some sad ways so i hope you were able to you know resonate with the content of my video um like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to hit uh make another video and drop me a line so I can be able to give you a shout out on my next video I got uh, Yasmin S and with expectancy much love to all and I love y'all to the bottom of my heart and know that y'all are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days um sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know when somebody truly needs that and it always always takes just a little kind word just to be able to lift my spirit and i'll see you on my next video like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line and i'll see you later much love to you peace and be wild